Hey you guys, what's happening? I'm doing this video uh, regarding this replica or fake or whatever you call it Rolex that I came by. I got this for free um, from one of my friends. It goes to downtown Los Angeles a lot. And he owed me some money. And um, I'm like, okay, I'll just... And he wasn't going to pay me. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'll just take one of your fake Rolexes. He has a lot of these. He has submariners and whatnot. He doesn't really sell them. Um, he bought them from this guy who was going out of business. Um, like he was, he, the guy who was selling these, uh, didn't want to sell them no longer. And he liquidated them for a really good price. And he got like seven, eight Rolexes, um, for, I think like very, very cheap. So I happened to run into this one. And I just want to go over, um, how crappy it is. First off, um, the Rolex doesn't even work. Uh, it stopped working um, like a couple days after I got it from him. Uh, second off, the strap doesn't even work. Like you can't even close it. Um, it's just a terrible garbage strap. It makes noise uh, when you're wearing it. It has a sharp edge that will just cut off your wrist uh, if you wear it for too long. And the gold around the Rolex looks like it's been painted on there which is just laughable <laughs> because that's it's not supposed to look like that um, and anyone with eyes can tell that anyone who's not retarded pretty much um, I'm not making fun of retarded people but anyone who has um, the capability of ration anyone who's rational and has the capability of looking at an object could pretty much tell that this does not look like a genuine Rolex um, and it's not a watch that's going to last a very long time um, there's a ton of stuff that, that shouts that, that screams at you that this Rolex is not real um, don't really want to go into details at the moment um, but just, just, a, just the way that the watch um, like the way that the watch forms on your hand, um, the movement of it and whatnot, just implies that the Rolex is fake. And I want to show you guys a watch I wear on a daily basis. I have a custom made watch uh, that I normally wear and I saved up my money, paid quite a bit for this watch and it's it's a very, very um, nice watch. It's, it's black dial all black everything <laughs> um, I mean just the strap was like $900 uh, it's a custom made watch um, black diamonds uh, black pearl on, on the <clears throat> on the face uh, black pearl all around the strap um, this lady named Michelle designed it yeah custom design watch the uh, reason why it's custom designed because I picked the strap, um, I picked the way the face looks, the fact that I wanted black diamonds and whatnot, and it's just an amazing watch. I get compliments all the time. No reason why I want a fake wear a fake Rolex. Um, I'm reason why I'm showing this. I'm not showing it to show off. Um, I'm just showing it to imply that I don't wear this thing. All right. Um, so people don't think that <laughs> I'm rocking a fake Rolex or whatnot. Because I'm not. Uh, I'm just making this video to tell you guys don't go looking for fake Rolexes. Alright? Don't go out there wanting to buy these things for. Because you're if you want to buy it, your money is going down the drain. Alright? You're better off just throw just just going out to the guy who sells this. Uh, just giving him your money and coming home and not even getting the Rolex. Because it's garbage. You're never going to wear it. Okay? Unless you're out of your mind, because um, 9 out of 10 people could tell this is fake. Um, anyone who owns a Rolex can tell this is fake. Anyone who owns a genuine watch would pretty much be able to tell this is fake. Um, you could buy a ton of good looking watches, a ton of uh, flashy designer, um, well built watches for two to three hundred dollars. Um, you don't really need to go out and buy a Rolex in order to have a genuine or a high-end watch. A lot of designers, um, I don't want to quote any designers. I know Dolce & Gabbana uh, for sure. 
Um, I know a bunch. You can find Gucci, Gucci, and Gabbana for two to three hundred dollars on eBay, Macy's, uh, Bloomingdale's. I don't know if, if Bloomingdale's. I think it's only in California. I I could be wrong, but you could go to a department store. How about that? Find a genuine looking watch, decent looking watch, two to three hundred. That's how much you're gonna spend on a uh, Rolex replica, anyways, and get yourself a nice, genuine designer, uh, flashy, ex quote unquote expensive watch. Um, that's my advice to people who are looking to buy fake Rolexes. Don't do it. Don't go after it. Don't spend time on it. Don't sweat it. Don't worry about it. Um, just go and pick up a genuine, decent-looking watch. You could save up two to three hundred um, in a couple of months if, if, if you have a job. Um, if not, you could get your mom, you could get your dad to get it, get it for you for your for Christmas. How about that? Or for your birthday or whatnot. Um, you could save up money, and if you really want a good-looking, genuine designer, whatever watch. You could save up and get it. I really want to, don't want to battle on too long and make this video go on for too much because I'm going to spend a lot of freaking time uploading this. So, um, stay away from Rolexes that are fake, that are replicas, that are not real Rolexes, alright? Get yourself a nice watch um, and be happy with it. One day, when you make a lot of money, you're in a good position, you have money for a Rolex, get yourself a Rolex. Um, but if you don't have the money, don't spend, don't waste your time going after it. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this was Shaw here. And um, any comments, any concerns, any questions, leave a comment below. No, I will not ship you this watch. No, I will not sell you this watch. Um, it, it is illegal to do so. Um, I can give away the watch for free. I might have a contest and give this crap piece of crap away, or I might just go and give it to my little cousin for his birthday or something. I don't know what to do with it. I just have it for fun. Um, so yeah, that was my video. Thank you guys for watching. Take it easy. Bye bye.